This one time at basketball, I thought I was Troy Bolton. I thought we were soaring, we're flying. There's not a star in heaven that we can't reach. What time is it? Seven attack. Keep your head in the game. You gotta, 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 gotta keep your head in the game. And I thought I had all those moves, and I was like, choo -choo. and I thought I was better than I actually was. Hey guys, this one time at basketball, it was my last away game my senior season, and I got so sick. I was like, Sarah, you gotta tell Mr. Al to stop the bus. And she was like, Mr. Al, stop the bus. Alicia White has to go to the bathroom. She's gonna be sick. It was the most nerve-wracking experience of my life. It was so embarrassing. All the underclassmen were laughing at me hysterically. And I was just trying not to go to the bathroom on the bus. <laughs> it was awful. It was the middle of February. And I'm literally sweating head to toe. And I was had to strip down to just my compression shorts and an Under Armour tank top. So the first stop is a gas station. I hopped right off that bus. I ran right into that gas station. Oh, got right back on the bus. No toilet in that gas station. Literally, when I got off that bus, I was so relieved that I was finally in a toilet. And there was a toilet. So I got back on my bus. Mr. I was like, oh, you're going to have to wait another 20 minutes. So here I am in the back of the bus. <sighs> <sighs> Thank God we made it to the next stop. It was Wendy's. And by this time, my buddy Jordan had to go to the bathroom too. So we both just went in there. We bonded in the Wendy's bathroom. You know, it was our last Hawaii game of senior year. And I got back on that bus and I thought it was all going to be over with. Well, come to find out. Basketball banquet. It's my senior year. All the seniors get gifts. My basketball coach, Mr. Al, decided he was going to give me a basket. Just in case I was in the car on the way to college and I got sick. Yeah. So that was one time at basketball. This one time... At basketball I was you know really pumped we were playing loyal sock and I was throwing the ball in so at this point in the game I was allowed to run baseline and you know I had one of the best arms on the team my coach told me Alicia you got to throw this down to the other opposite end of the gym so you understand my basketball hoop that I'm scoring at is on the other end of the gym. There's a basketball hoop right in front of me on that baseline. So I'm running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I see one of my teammates wide open. And I go for the big throw. Um, I guess I should have practiced that one. I threw it right in to the other basketball hoop. How embarrassing. And it launched back at me. And I thought, oh, I can catch it and throw it back in. Uh, wrong. It's the other team's ball. I really disappointed my coach that day. <laughs> Simple as that. So, this one time at basketball, my team and I were over at, like, coming college for a camp. We always were running to the cafeteria, be the first ones in line. And it just happened that one of the Jersey Shore girls called us dykes. So, all the street girls thought it was funny. And I thought it was a little funny too. So, we all decided that we were going to have um, a bandana day. And we were all going to wear different colors of bandanas. And then we started the hashtag DFLs, Dykes for Life. Well, the joke was really on Jersey Shore because, you know, 
um, some of us just ended up being dykes. <laughs> yeah, that was at basketball. This one time at basketball, I was getting really upset because I wasn't making any shots. I couldn't even make a layup. So I said, to give myself some motivation, I said, if I miss this shot, I'm becoming a nun. Because really, who wants to become a nun? Well, I went up there and I shot that ball. And it rolled around the rim and I missed. Huh? So, I became a nun. And so did Kaylin. Except, not a nun. <laughs> because. I have a fiance and she keeps me from becoming a nun. <laughs> we were at Sullivan County and we forgot one of our teammates at the game. So I had all the, here's how it went down. I had all these bags of sour skittles from Christmas. And I remembered that one of the older girls had asked me for a bag of sour skittles, so I was planning on giving them to her when we got back on the bus. Well, I go to look for her, I'm like, Jenna, Jenna, um, the bus is already about 10 minutes away, and Jenna's not on the bus. I go to Mr. Al, and I'm like, Mr. Al, Jenna's not here, and he's like, you better make sure, blah, blah. And he was telling us, like, to make sure she wasn't there. And he was like, because we're not, I'm not turning back if I don't have to. Well, she really wasn't there. And she was about to ride all the way home to South Lansport with some random stranger that none of us knew who they were. Yeah. The stuff that happens at basketball. So, guys, this was just a couple stories from my high school basketball career. Um, if you like this video, let me know and I can... Uh, tell you stories about other sports I played or more about basketball. Thanks for watching.